Hey guys, welcome to the finale of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And the only obstacle standing in our way from beating this game is defeating Ganon. So what do you say we go down this hole and take him on? Whoa! Oh my gosh, he's got a pitchfork! I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Agnim, the Dark Wizard, twice! But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. And yes, guys, this is the final battle against Ganon. Now, unlike many Zelda bosses, Ganon is actually sufficiently difficult, and he does a lot of damage. So what we're going to do is, in this phase, we're just going to try and deal some damage and avoid his pitchfork that he throws, which does two hearts of damage. That's bad. I get hit by it. Uh, eh, let's keep getting some hits and bob and weave. When he does this, though, oh gosh, I'm in a really bad position. He's going to shoot these fireballs actually all across the room. Now, then they're going to turn into keys. Now, avoiding the keys is easier said than done. It's actually, it's extremely hard if you ask me. Let's stay on this side, avoid the fire. Oh my gosh. I'm doing so good on hearts. And avoid the keys. Uh, the keys are like the thing. They do so much damage and they're so difficult to avoid. But he does this though, you know you're actually getting pretty far into the boss fight. Now, when he actually starts making some of the room disappear, you gotta be careful. Because if you fall down that hole, the boss fight resets. It's just like the Moldor. It's actually pretty evil in Nintendo's part, if you ask me. I'm just going to keep avoiding the fire. Alright. And just one more hit, and he should take down all the fire now. Come on, dude. Let me just hit you one last time. Jeez. Ah! So annoying. I hate this boss fight. That stupid noise! Gosh! Okay. Now, be prepared. Be very prepared. You are doing well, lad. But you cannot break this secret technique of darkness. On guard! And yeah, so he's gonna, he's gonna, this is what he's gonna do. He's basically gonna turn the lights out on us. Now when he does that, he's gonna be vulnerable. Now you gotta slash him. Okay, and now get out the silver arrows. Uh, uh. Yes. And now, come on, we just gotta <laughs> survive. Okay, one more hit. Come on, and can we get a second hit in? No, I guess not. Now I gotta turn the lights on again. This is why you need magic for this fight. It's actually very important that you get some magic. Can we get to him in time? Nope, he's just going to teleport away. That's alright, going to shoot him again. Come on, two hits. Ah, oh, dang, we almost got two hits on him. That would have done... That would have been pretty good if we got two, but no, we only got one. So we're just going to... Let's wait it out. Gosh, I can't believe I'm about to beat. i to the past. Alright, come on, a little bit more. And... No, dang, I hesitated. Curses. Alright, this shot should do it, though. And, guys, we did it. We defeated... Ganon. And now... Hyrule is safe from his invasion of evil and trying to take over the white world. And hey, we got the sacred realm back. It's it's gone of his evil. What? The, what? What? What's what's in here? Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> I legitimately forgot. <laughs> it's the Triforce. Oh my. Hey, Link. What's up, man? How the Triforce, man? Woohoo! What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> I was mad since the Triforce isn't, you know, just a wild and crazy guy. Man, I'm gonna grant your wishes and stuff. It just, man, I'm stinking cool. Go ahead and touch me, man. Touch me. Come on. Grant you a wish. <laughs> if a person's good heart touches it, it will make this good wishes come true. But if an evil guy touches it, he's gonna touch it, and then evil wishes will be granted. So we should probably get good people to touch the Triforce and make wishes on it. So, yeah. And the stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce expressions <laughs> of that wish. Yeah. I always like this little cutscene. It's kind of a cool. It's kind of cool. It's where the Triforce just chills. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That he wished the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ooh. Now I guess that that's kind of a lame wish. He could have just wished to be invincible forever. But whatever. And Ganon was building up his power there. He could conquer the Light World. And make his wish completely true, because there's like a loophole, apparently. And we didn't tell him that, because we're the Triforce, and we don't got to say everything. But, you know, you beat up Ganon, and so the darkness is gone. And thanks, dude. Here's a rupee for all your trouble. <laughs> and the Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Oh, that's pretty cool. We get a wish for anything, huh? I want a roller coaster. 
Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and we now have the Triforce. It's ours. The wish is ours to make. We can make. We can. We can do anything. We can become invincible. We can rule the world. Finally, yes. It's time to be completely evil. Ha <laughs> ha. And yes, guys, that's the end of the Let's Play. And end of the game. A Link to the Past is literally a journey. It is an amazing game. If you've never played it, I highly recommend it. And hey, the king's back! Hey, look at him! He's he's got a he's got a beard. He's not a skeleton anymore, like he was in the opening movie. Ho! Oh. And I guess well, is the sage back or the pope? Is the pope okay? The tension, the tension. Yeah, he's all right. He came back from the dead. Whoa! <laughs> And yeah, I like this cutscene. It's really, it's showing you what happens to everybody. You couldn't do this on the NES. You couldn't. But now you can do it on the Super Nintendo. It's amazing. Guys, I highly recommend playing A Link to the Past. It's an amazing game. If you love Zelda, you owe it to yourself. If you only played the 3D ones, this one's just as good. No, I'd say it's in fact, it's just, it's the same game, guys. It's the same game. Doesn't matter if it's 2D, 3D pixels, 3D models. Zelda is always going to be Zelda at heart. Thank you guys for watching me <laughs> do some crazy journey. That guy looks crazy. He's got a crazy looking head. I guess he's not evil anymore and in the dark world. And yeah, you're- Oh! Our uncle's back! Yes! And we can duel. We can protect Hyrule as father and uncle. I mean, young. Young and uncle. I'm his nephew. That's the joke. <laughs> and even the Zoras are happy. Yeah. They used the money I gave them for their slippers and started a real estate agency. All right, that's neato for them. And the witch and her assistant. I guess she doesn't have a name. I guess it was not uh, Syrup after all. Will the, will the assistant of the witch ever get her own side quest, journey, game? I don't know, but I sure hope so. She's the least, she's the most forgettable character in all of Zelda. Kind of, I guess. Well, if I remember the most forgettable, I guess I want to be the most forgettable. And hey, the flute boy's back too. He got, he can learn how to play his ocarina again. Good for him! Man, this Triforce wish saved everyone's lives. And actually made the world a better place. Well, there you go. And hey, it's Venus, Queen of the, who the crap? What? Who's the Queen of the Fairies? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the fat one, but no, it's just a normal one. Well, that's nice. Yeah, the dwarves. I mean, those dwarves, guys, guys. These are dwarves in a Zelda game. Yeah, crazy, right? Where did the dwarf race go? I don't stand out. They're just gone forever, I guess. And will the jellyfishing kid ever get his net back? I sure hope so. I guess the camera's just gonna pan over until we find out. But I really, really hope so. Boy, did that, <laughs> that, did that net really help out? Jeez Louise. You guys know how many fairies I use in this game. Gosh, it was stinking helpful. And the lost old man. Well, he's not really lost. He had his house. He was at his house. I mean, he is still in Death Mountain and all, but not really lost. I don't know what they call him that. Yeah, he's just going for a little walk. He knows where he's going. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, show up the bridge doesn't go out. Who's he waving to? Is he waving to the Lakitu from Super Mario 64? Is he? Is he? I sure hope so. That'd be funny. <laughs> and the thieves. And they're stealing my rubies again. Like jerks when I'm just trying to get the Master Sword. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. Question mark? No exclamation point. Ha! And man, you gotta love Link to the Past, man. What an amazing game. It's an amazing journey, too. I've already said that. I'm being a little redundant, aren't I? Aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> and guys, that's the end of the Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just I just can't get over it, guys. I can't believe you guys, after all these years, still watch my videos. <laughs> oh, there's more credits. Never mind. Well, I'm out of crap to talk about, which is rather unfortunate. I'm just going to pull something out of my butt, as I usually do. Man, gosh, uh, guys, I really don't know what to do. I've been doing this for how many years? Well, I started when I was in 10th grade, I think. Pretty sure. It's 10th grade. Yeah, I, I know. I figured out, like, I figured, found out about Let's Playing in the 10th grade. I was like, gee willikers, Batman, I really hope I can do that one day. I used to think originally every Let's Player just had super powerful computers and emulated like console games on their computers, which is kind of funny because that's actually pretty doable by today's standards. <laughs> Yesterday I was playing on um, Wind Waker on my uh, co new computer. It's kind of cool in 1080p and stuff. It's crazy, man, what computers can do. 
I'm sure like stinking Yachaguchi Tomito or Tomata stinking like man this is the most state of art game in the world mode 7 man that's the future and now look at today dude it's kind of scary in 10 years what are we what what is even gonna happen dude like we're gonna have Zelda in like 3080p you can only play it on stinking like theater and only in like movie theaters and it's just gonna be like full motion controls you're literally link man that'd be awesome <laughs> that actually be pretty sick and scary dude like gosh I'd be up for it though man just imagine fighting like an Octorok just like running up to it and stabbing it oh man the future man that's it I I'm going no, no more videos I'm going into a cryological sleep till, <laughs> till they make that game uh, well, I guess Skyward Sword is kind of close to that, but whatever. Well, I'm getting so off topic, man! But no, man, I've been making these videos for so long. I'm still amazed how nice you guys are. You guys leave, seriously, the nicest comments in the world, man. Like, I get like, I'm like, it's it's a weird week if I get one negative comment on any of mine, like, what, 600 videos? I'm not trying to be cocky, but you guys are seriously, like, some of the nicest fans I've ever met. And I've seen some pretty jerkish <laughs> YouTube fans. I've seen some other um, you know, videos, but no, I get the nicest comments, man, jeez, please, I'm just, like, really overwhelmed by how nice you guys are, and the fact that you just continue to watch my videos, continue to support me, and you guys are just, you guys are always just game for whatever up I, uh, decide to let's play, and, you know, that's honestly something that a lot of people don't have, I, I'm very happy with what I have at the moment, I mean, jeez, Louise, I can just, I can just come to my, like, YouTube audience and be like, hey guys, how's it going? And you guys would just answer back, man. I don't know, that's kind of cool. That I have, like, <laughs> a group of friends that watch me play video games every day, every week. It's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but man, oh man. In quest history, what the crud? I don't even remember what this is. What is this? Oh, I think it's time I died. Pretty sure it's time I died. Yeah, it counts the fairies, so that's why there's, like, two... And one. Huh, let's see how I did Misery Mire. I think I died at all in Misery Mire. I might have, though. Not sure. Huh. Oh, it's Thieves Town? I could have sworn. What? I could have sworn that was Gargoyle's Domain. I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But yeah, wow, I died in every single dungeon. Good job there. Good job. You're really good. You're really good at the game there, Wad. You died 17 times on the last play. Pretty bad, but oh well. I didn't say it was going to be a perfect run, whatever. And guys, that's the end of Let's Play. Uh, I know I've said it like three times in the past couple minutes, but yeah, that's really the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. And man, I think you guys are really going to like the next project even more. So I'll see you in the next Let's Play.